There are so many great cozy games coming out in 2023. I'm gonna chat through some of my favorites. There are two games that I wanna give a quick honorary mention to before we get into the rest of the video. If you're looking for a cozier version of Hogwarts Legacy, then I would definitely recommend checking this out. Spells and Secrets is coming out on Nintendo Switch, PS5, PC, hopefully in Q2 of this year. Study at a Wizard Academy as your first year student. Explore worlds and uncover hidden mysteries. It's our first day at the Wizard Academy and there is a strange incident. It's up to us to save the ever-changing castle and rescue our schoolmates. We use spells to fight off magical creatures, explore worlds, and uncover the castle secret. I have never seen a game like this. It's black and white and hand-drawn illustrations that follows the adventure of a wolf cub and a fawn stranded in a vast snowy wilderness. We're talking about Blanc, and it comes out on Nintendo Switch and PC on February 14th, so very soon. My most anticipated cozy game of 2023 is Fay Farm. I am wearing my Fay crown for this reason, and it is coming exclusively to Nintendo Switch. It's a farm sim RPG for one to four players. I've never played any co-op or multiplayer games, and this looks really exciting. We're going to be able to infuse magic into everything we do, farming, battling, questing. The graphics look stunning. The storyline hopefully is going to be great, and it just seems like it's gonna be packed full of features. I can't wait to dive into this new world of Azoria. The Garden Path is a beautifully illustrated, humble gardening sim that is coming to PC and Nintendo. We stumble upon a garden that is overgrown and it's up to us to enjoy the joy of gardening. Every garden needs a gardener and that's what we'll be doing in the Garden Path. Time in the garden passes alongside the real world and every season brings new stories and errands. I mean, just look at these rich illustrated visuals. One of my favorite characters that I've heard about is Caroline who has a cauliflower as a head. Storyteller is a very unique puzzle game that is coming out on PC and Nintendo Switch this year. It features this kind of comic panel design and it really allows us to build the story as we go along. It seems that we're gonna have these levels and for us to complete each story. So in this example, we've, the butler did it. We need to build a story using the characters or the items on the bottom and place them into each comic strip in order to build the story and complete it to say the butler did it. I'm sure that as time goes on within the game, it's gonna get more complex and we're gonna have to figure out, okay, how can we tell this story to unlock the puzzle? Such an interesting concept and I just can't wait to check this out. I saw a comment that said Songs of Glimmerwick is the Nintendo Switch version of Hogwarts Legacy and I think they could be right. It's coming to PC first and then hopefully consoles later and not till the end of 2023 but this game looks fascinating. The music, the illustrations and the storyline. The magic source of the island is fading, the forest is dying and it's someone's fault but who? The people of Glimmerwick seem to have differing opinions about that. We find ourselves at a witch academy and we're immersed into the woodland fantasy world. Attend classes, grow the university garden and make friends with classmates and town folk. We can even use the power of music to speak with the trees and chant tools to work all by themselves. I really should have put my fey thing on because this is giving more witchy vibes. I mean, we just have classes to attend, mysteries to solve, local drama, festivals. It just seems like we have so much available here. And it looks like a really interesting game that I hadn't heard very many people talking about. Coffee Talk 2 is a sequel to the Coffee Talk and it is based in Seattle, rainy, rainy Seattle. These vibes are just so nostalgic of the 90s. I don't know what it is, but the pixel art, the dialogue, the moodiness just really brings me back. We're gonna meet customers again, but this time we have new options for drinks, such as matcha lattes and pea berry tea. If you're looking to just unwind and relax with a game that is super easy to play, chill, lo-fi atmosphere, 
then this is gonna be the game to check out. I played the demo and the music and the character dialogue was just so lovely. I also really enjoyed a couple of the mini games of just creating the latte art and hanging out with the quirky cast, such as Myrtle the Orc game developer. I hadn't come across her yet in the demo, but, or Bailey the Elf freelance graphic designer. I can't wait till this game comes out, hopefully in Q2. It seems like I'm just gonna need to keep my Fey crown on because all of these games are just giving witchy vibes. Mika and the Witch's Mountain, she is a aspiring witch whose goal is to try and get to the top of the mountain. There are answers to many questions about life and magic await her there. We're gonna be flying around on our own broom and we wanna discover all of the secrets hidden within the mountain. We're gonna be working for a local mail delivery company and we wanna be delivering all of our mail to our neighbors and packages without damaging it. Each new broom will have better features that will allow Mika to get a little closer to the top of the mountain. Overall, this just seems like a very cozy and relaxing game to play. Meeting new characters, delivering mail, and trying to get to the top of the mountain. Mail Time is a cottage core adventure game that is coming to PC and hopefully Nintendo Switch later in the year. I demoed this game and absolutely loved it. I spent about an hour playing and it was just wonderful. We deliver mail to forest animals. We glide, jump, and talk our way through Grumblewood Grove on our way to deliver letters and become a full-fledged male scout. I definitely recommend checking this game out. The music, the storyline, the characters, the illustrations, it's all beautifully done. And it comes out hopefully in April, which is not too far away. Well, there we have it. All of my favorite cozy games that are coming out in 2023. We have such a mixture here. We've got witchy, fae, black and white, gardening, a lot of, quite a lot of life sims or just Sims in general. And then we have the 90s nostalgia, pixel, puzzle. I just think there's so much here for anyone and I just can't wait to play all of these this year. What is your favorite game that you're looking forward to this year? Drop it in the comments below. I would love to check them out. I'm always looking for new cozy games. 